Now let me talk to you straight. Let me talk to you straight, folks. This is Malaysia, boy. Yeah, good. But you know what? You know all this little nye, 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 between Singapore and Malaysia, I think that's a waste of time. We're not competing with each other. We're competing with Brazil. We're competing with South Africa. We're competing with Hungary. Everybody else in the whole world wants your business. They want the investment that could come here. They don't want it to go here. They want it to go there. I say, no, it should come here. But you know what? They got a product every bit as good as we do. They got telephone systems every bit as good as we do. What are we going to have that's better? Yeah. So let's work together. Turn the page. <laughs> I want to talk about this next page here. Got stairs, right? I want to talk to you about standards. Let's start near the bottom, not at the bottom, but near the bottom. The minimum fundamentals, I use the word basic, B-A-S-I-C, basic. Like when I take a taxi, to me, the taxi should have four wheels. <laughs> if it doesn't have four wheels, I'm not getting in. That's why I don't ride tuk-tuks. <laughs> doesn't meet the basic. And the taxi driver should get me from A to B, and when I get to B, I'm still breathing. That's basic, right? Let's go up one level. Above basic is what's normal, traditional. I use the word expected. For example, when you get in that taxi, don't you expect that the taxi driver knows how to get where you want to go? Does it always, have you ever gotten into a taxi and the taxi driver goes, where are you going? And you tell him and he goes, where's that? <laughs> How do you feel when that happens? Oh, man. Now you have to stay alert the whole time. Get on the highway, go to the third exit, down to the traffic light, turn right, second stop sign, turn on. You see, he still gets you there. He still meets the basic, but it's not what you expected. Now let's go up one level what you hope for. It would be nice. I call it desired. For example, don't you hope that you get a good driver? Don't you hope that the car is in new condition? Don't you hope that the taxi driver smells good? You hope, but you don't expect it. Let's go up another level. Above desired is, ooh. I call it surprising. Ooh, unexpected. When I come back from my trips overseas, I usually have three suitcases. One for my clothing, one for the props and products that I bring, and other for gifts to go back and forth between the two different countries. I fly back to Singapore airport, we load two of my suitcases in the back, in the boot, and we put one in the front seat, I sit in the back seat on my way home. Taxi driver drives up to the end of the parking lot. There's 25 meters more from the edge of the parking lot to the elevator that goes up to the 31st floor where I live. Every once in a while, a taxi driver will take out my three suitcases and look at the situation. Three suitcases, 25 meters. One botak angmo. <laughs> Every once in a while, the taxi driver will say, come on, I'll give you a hand and pick up two of my bags. Walk with me the 25 meters, put them down at the elevator. Surprising. Now, service is a two-way street. If he does that for me, what will I do for him? Yeah, surprisingly nice tip. But you know what? I don't even hope that he's going to do it because I don't want to be disappointed, and I certainly don't expect it. Let's go up one more level. Above surprising, astonishing, incredible. I call it unbelievable. Unbelievable.
Now, I want to share with you a personal observation I've made over the years about this category called unbelievable, because when you hit unbelievable product, something happens. When you have unbelievable delivery systems, something happens. But when you hit unbelievable service mindset, something different happens.